everyone and welcome to a short update video. You might notice that we're not sitting in our van, we're actually sitting in our home. And that's because... <laughs> well, our plans for this year have changed. I think I mentioned at the end of the last episode that we plan to head up to Cape York around mid to end of May sometime. Well, we're not doing that now because we've just sold our caravan. We put it up for sale and within half an hour we were contacted by the person who ended up buying it. So <laughs> the sale went through very quickly, took us very much by surprise and consequently no more trips until we pick up our new van. A lady purchased it yesterday and comes to pick it up very shortly and take it away. So it will be goodbye to this caravan. And there goes our van. Very sad. So why do we sell it again? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> well... Well, it wasn't an easy decision, was it? Yeah, we sold the van because, uh, as we mentioned in a previous episode, we're preparing for uh, heading off for a full-time in a van for 12 to 18 months, uh, doing a lap of Australia uh, at the end of this year, starting end of December, early January. Mm -hmm. And we wanted to make a few changes to the van before we partook of that trip. And most of those changes we could have done with our current van. And, and some of the things we would have done would have been a bit more solar for the cloudy days. So we had 600 watts of solar on the roof, which works well on sunny days. But on cloudy days, it just starts to lose a little bit each day. We just start to go down. So a bit more solar. Um, we wanted to remove our outdoor kitchen which was located in the front tunnel boot because it was quite a big heavy kitchen, uh, three gas burners, sink and, and hot and cold water, all that sort of stuff which was fantastic. But we did have fairly high front ball weight and we thought we'd just get rid of that and just put a barbecue slide in there for the Weber. Um, we want to match our wheel studs to the cruiser so we can interchange spare wheels and, and that was sort of the main things which we could do with our current van, but there was a couple that just we couldn't do we with couldn't our current do. van. And that, so. of course, is just a slight increase. And so, yeah, so we just wanted to increase the size of our ensuite. And, and those that are travelling in an 18 foot 6 van, uh, you know that the, um, the ensuite can be a little squishy. It's not so much in the shower cubicle itself, but in the bathroom there is a bit of a tight squeeze so mm. that was that was one thing that we couldn't alter and we can't alter that with with an eight foot six van yeah. and as deb said the shower cubicle is not so bad for mm. her but i'm taller and, and yeah, the shower cubicle was actually a little bit small for me being mm. taller because i bend over my butt hits one wall and hits my head into the other wall or, well, that's or whatever if, don't I'm, want to if, I'm, <laughs> if i'm trying to wash my feet it's a bit of a struggle yeah, I could have put up with it, but I really would have liked it just a little bit bigger. And honestly. speaking of butts, <laughs> we wanted to change the cafe lounge to a chase lounge, which of course is the L-shaped lounge, because we feel that, that is, that's an opportunity to open up more space as well. So of course, I struggle to get in and around the bed with the, with the cafe lounge, So because yeah, my butt's a bit... <laughs> a and bit on the bigger side. That's where my height is an advantage, because I'm just tall enough to squeeze in that narrow gap. But mm shorter person here <laughs> why is that a struggle um, so I guess that was sort of our main reasons for deciding we we're going to sell our van and then selling the van also gives us an opportunity to look at going to something completely different if, if that's what we chose to do so what did we get <laughs> well my zone cap was getting a bit old and dirty so I bought a new zone cap it was a bloody expensive cap, but it did come with a free caravan. <laughs> no, we stayed with what we already had and loved, which is we stayed with the yeah. Zone RV brand and um, went with a 19-foot Peregrine. So being just a little bit bigger, we didn't want to go. We liked the small van, so we didn't want to go so much bigger. Count. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> I'll just edit that bit out. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so we went with the 19 foot van and most of that extra uh, size was in the ensuite. So it's it's a beautiful size ensuite. What else have we got to talk van. about here? Yeah. 
So, um, and of course we did get those other things as well that we wanted, such as the more solar, the L-shaped lounge, yeah. which will give us the more room that we were looking for. There is no front kitchen in this one, in the, in the front boot. But that we did- refreshment. Um... Oh, it does have an outdoor yeah. kitchen. That's exactly yeah. right, it does, but not in the front tunnel boot. Mm -hmm. uh, we did go for the barbecue slide in the front tunnel boot, which allows us to put the Weber there and yeah. still cook on gas. But um, it does have a large uh, outdoor kitchen area mm -hmm. down over the actual yeah. kitchen window. I like that idea Which is fairly too. unique to the zone, I yeah. think. Um, yeah. I haven't seen other vans like that. And we'll show you more of that when we actually pick the van up mm. and um, do a tour of the van. Yep. So that made a real change to our plans for this year as well. Mm. So our former plans for this year where we should actually be today heading off for a couple of weeks around the Atherton Tablelands. The weather in North Queensland is beautiful. It is beautiful this time yeah. of the year and it would have been great having a couple of weeks up there and sadly we're not because we don't have a caravan. And of course we also plan to do Cape York at the end of May and, and do about a six week, six week trip up through that area to the tip of Australia, which is the second time we've planned this trip and then cancelled it. <laughs> so we're not going there because once again, we still won't have a van. We pick up our van in July. And so that's changed. All going our, well. Hmm, all going yeah. well. So that's changed our plans for this year. Instead, <laughs> we'll do a shakedown trip around the southeast corner when we first pick up our van. So mm. that'll be at Hangar O for the handover. Stay in that area for a week before we return it for the first one week service, just to make sure everything's okay. Mm. And then from there, we will return home to Townsville via Outback Queensland. So we'll pretty much head west from the Brisbane area out towards Thaga Midway and make our way up through some of those small outback towns mm. in the west, which we really enjoy. Yeah, absolutely. Um, might even visit Corpy again because last time we went to Corpy, we were there a day and had to leave because of yeah. the big rain that was yep. coming in. So. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll visit some of those areas we haven't been to before or were cut short by rain a couple of years ago. And that'll be our um, trips for this year, I think. Yeah, and then we come back to mm. an extremely busy end of year because, mm. of course, Paul and I are going to pack up the house and um, get ready for our big lap around Oz. So yeah. that's going to be an, an enormous project. So we have well, got loads of stuff. Yeah, we'll probably get back around the end of September by the time we get back which we, and we want to be out of the house by you know early to mid-December at the yeah. latest to try and get it rented before we head off. Mm -hmm. So that really only gives us that two and a half months to uh, empty this place out, prepare it for the um, lease. So that's what we've decided upon. We're not selling. We're going to keep our house and rent it as a for a couple of reasons. One is it's a form of income while we're traveling. Yep. It'll um, help pay some bills for the travel for mm -hmm. the trip yeah and it also gives us a home base to return to when we're uh, sick of the van <laughs> uh, and uh, and want to get back to living in the house again so for that reason we've decided to keep the house um, but that means we have a lot of work to do once we return around the end of September yeah we'll probably hire a shipping container or buy a shipping container I should say a second hand one and pack this fairly large house into a shipping container. So yeah, that'll keep That's us pretty busy mm, once we get back. So in the start of uh, January, we'll start our trip away or end of December, start yeah. of January. We've already got uh, the Spirit of Tasmania booked for the 2nd of uh, February. Mm -hmm. So we'll have about a month to make our way down towards Geelong, Victoria, uh, ready to jump on the car ferry to um, Tassie. Well. And our good friends, the Feltinskis, who you would have seen on previous uh, episodes with us, yeah. are joining us. So that's wonderful. They're coming to Tassie with us. So they're booked for the 4th of February. They couldn't get on the same time as us because they made that decision a month or two later and it books out really quick. Yeah, it does. But they did get the yeah. 4th of February just uh, recently. So mm. that was great. And we'll uh, be doing, I don't know, we haven't booked a return uh fair yet, but we'll probably do about three months in Tassie before returning to the mainland and then heading west, South Australia. I don't, uh, I don't know where we're going after that. Well, the beauty, we're free as the birds. I guess the beauty <laughs> is we've we've worked our entire lives and now is the time to sit back and enjoy. 
our our retirement living, yeah. Yeah. which of course that's going to be a really nice change for us because um, work and um, and stuff has yeah. held well, us still for a while. Haven't yeah, it, well, it? we've pretty been, pretty much been semi retired the last two years anyway, but mm. we'll go into a bit more full time retirement. I might still keep one of the jobs that I can do uh, on the road, yeah. uh, just for a little bit of extra income to supplement the house income and slow down the use of our superannuation. Uh, but that's pretty much our, our plan. So that's mm -hmm. the change of our plans for yep. this year and where we're going to next year. Uh, as an aside, we just did a day trip last week up around Paluma Range and from Paluma Range up through the Star West through Star Valley area, just a day trip in the car, about 200 kilometres all up. But spot. if you happen to be up this way in your caravan and are looking for things to do and day trips, do watch that episode. We'll throw it up in the next fortnight or so. It's a, it's a beautiful area up in the Pluma Ranges and that Star Valley was really stunning. We found a couple of campsites there that we didn't mm. even know about. Yeah. I mean, they're only 100k from our house, but <laughs> we weren't aware of them on the running river and they were really beautiful. So we'll put a bit oh, of footage up of those campsites. Beautiful because it's so lush and green. So Townsville has, is, quite, uh, has had quite a, a, a huge volume of rain. We've had a good wet season. Months. Yeah. So yeah, so it's, it's been, been, all looking very everything's green. Everything's beautiful. Instead of Brownsville, it's Greensville. Yeah. <laughs> so we'll put that up in the uh, next fortnight and then we'll probably put up a vlog or two towards mm -hmm. the end of the year about how we're going with um, progressing the moving out of our house and what that entails. And you don't want to see what, that. What that, uh, if you're looking or considering it, uh, uh, you're doing your own big lap and wondering what to do with your house, etc., then maybe that'll be of interest to you as well. Mm -hmm. So, if you think they will be of interest, subscribe. Like and subscribe. <laughs> or dislike and subscribe. Don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, anyway, that's, that's it for the update for us. So, um, yeah, we look forward to uh, seeing some you on exciting the road. Times. Yeah, see you guys on the road. Bye. Bye.